This is John Black, Super Chemist. Uh, this is a force fire um, chart. I want to read something here first before we start into that. Uh, this chart I got at uh, where was it? Uh, the, the U.S. National Interagency Fire Center. N I F C. Okay. I was no longer there though. And I looked uh, for hours, man, looking for this thing. <clears throat> A lot of things I clicked on were controlled by, or at least their data was controlled by the U.S. National Interagency Fire Center. Because they all said that they got their data from them. And, and it wasn't that they didn't have data. They said they only had data after 1983. Okay. And, I, and what's funny is I went to their site. They really don't care. I, I can't find any data. I can find data about this year. doesn't seem like they're giving me data about anything else. I, uh, maybe I'm not, I didn't really go through a, the whole site or whatever. But it seems like they're, they're limited now what you can, they're not just going to give you some graph anymore, okay? Uh, so, let me read this here. Data showing greater number of acres lost to wildfires in previous decades were removed from an important database by, by a government fire agency, likely because the data did not support uh, the wildfires are becoming more frequent. That's because they're not coming more frequent. That's why three years ago I did these videos and I showed you all the charts. I gave you all the, 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 the uh, ed addresses, you know, like when I did the fire uh, force fire stats, I gave you the U.S. National Interagency Fire Center. I gave them as an, an example to I gave you the, the address or whatever, uh, .gov, and uh, you, you can look at it yourself, you know. Uh, so and I, I'm going to call the U.S. Na National Interagency Fire Center the NIFC from now on. Uh, but this chart used to contain, see, 1983, let me see. 1983 is about right here where this line is. That's 1980. So they cut it right there, and they used this part of the thing, right? That's how this chart started out, right? Well, let me get get get. Let me say some more things here first. Uh, let me see. And oh, it happened in March 2021. So I basically got my graph right. And I videoed it, and I put it on YouTube. And of course, I got my channel deleted. Um, but my graph was a whole graph from the where I told you from. I must have done it right before 2021, because it because it was about three years ago. And uh, but they're removing more than just that, but that graph. But why are they doing that? But listen, well, we know why. But look at this. In 1990 or whenever the heck it was, 80s maybe, who knows? I can't remember. Um, oh, maybe it says right here. I never read any of this stuff. Oh, wait, I'm scrolling on the... Hold on, I'm scrolling down on the wrong thing. There. That was the chart. I'm going to show you another chart here. Now... And see how it says it was national, blah, blah, blah. But look at this when you look at both charts. See, now, in the 90s, this was, and it's a, I said all this in my first video. This was what I was seeing from all the, you know, climate crazies. They always use this chart. And you can see it does look like there's, a, you know, it's, it's going up. Just like CO2 goes up, right? So I wanted to go, I want to see them, because I know how they do with Trump and that, you know, they take a little clip. You know, Trump can say, I, I hate black people to be poor. And they'll cut out the to be poor part and just play the part, 
I hate black people. They leave off the to be poor. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, I want to see that because they always want to. They're always taking little snips or whatever. Uh, oh, he even, even says right here, cherry picked data. I don't know who these people are here. They're called climate at a at a climate at a glance. Um, I think they're against climate crazies or whatever. And luckily, they had copies of this a chart or whatever. You know what I mean? They and they're outing the climate crazies. So, anyways, so I went back and found this chart. Right? I said, "Give me this chart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it." And it was hard to do because so that's the thing. They never want to tell you where they get their charts from or anything. You ever notice that? They never, if they give you any data or any whatever. They never want to tell you where it came from or anything like that. It's just like it came from nowhere. So I finally found this. And I told you where I found it from, the NIFC. Okay. And I want you to see, they they took right here. So that's 1980. This right here is what they showed everyone. And basically, they just took this part here, enlarged it here, and, you know, put it over there. And uh, ran around telling how, look at I want you to keep in mind, this right here is the average of about 5 million, whatever it is, make acres, uh, whatever, acres. Or, or, wait, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's acres, right? So, this right here, this is like 5 million, say. 5 million acres a year. Then over here, you can see these spikes where they're five, uh, 10 million, okay? This right here is like 50 million. Yeah, this is 40 million, 30 million. And they're saying that... that well, then, what did the, the, keep in mind? This chart goes down to 1926, and from here they took 1986 all the way to almost present. It goes up to 2020. So, why why, why would they do that? Maybe because they're lying. And then a hundred years later, okay, they say, you know what? This some um, half of the graph that we this half here. Now, they actually sometimes they go back to here, which is 1960. Uh, but most of them go back to 1983. This is happening in other countries too. They're, they're, they're taking every all the data about the climate and they're just going to change it. First, they were lying. Now they're starting to actively and and, and then they're uh, censoring everybody. Now they're actively changing the data that's at the government, you know, installations or whatever, you know. So, yeah, they're erasing or changing history. You know what I mean? So now, and then, now you can't even get this chart anymore, it seems like to me. I, I didn't really give that a good shot, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, all the agencies, because all I kept asking for was, I want these. I want something before 1983. No one would give it to me. No, they, they don't do it anymore. They don't, we don't do that. Uh, so... My thing is, is that the, this is, you just don't understand how bad this has got. This is, you can see on YouTube what's going on. Are you fools? What's happening? You don't see it? You know, they're even beeping out the word terrorist and, and a bunch of other words that they don't even have to beep out. Like no one even complained once about it. Assassination or assassin. They're now beeping those words out even though they don't, they don't need to. YouTube, it wasn't canceling anyone's. Whatever for the, you know why? Because when the terrorists start attacking here, which is, is going to happen soon, right? Uh, they, uh, they don't, they don't want anyone to report it. They don't want people to talk about assassinate. You know how many times Trump's been assassinated, or you know attempted? Every time I say assassinate, I always mean mean attempted. All right, uh, five times. How many did you think he was? And, and I can prove just. And, and if you don't Google it soon, you might not never get to because they're literally just taking all information out of the of the internet. Um, but you can't scrub it all. They can't scrub it all. Okay. Uh, no, no, I forget what I was saying, man. But yeah. Uh, uh, this is this is all these all these charts. I'm gonna go through all these charts, man. You're gonna see. 
I bet you a million dollars they're starting to change them everywhere. On because on, I looked up and I had stuff on hurricanes, cyclones, uh, tornadoes, and I want to get them all, or at least some of them, before they change them. And when they do change them, I can be like, hey, look, uh, look why they're changing all these, man. They want to spend trillions. Do you people understand they're going to spend trillions? They want to bankrupt everybody so that they can come in. They want to make it, screw, uh, destroy everything, right? Want to start World War II in 2027. At least that's what the, the elites are saying. And they, they want to destroy everything so that we're all begging for someone to help us. Because when you're starving, right, <laughs> you'll take any hand. If you're drowning, you'll take any hand. To save yourself. You'll give up any of your rights. And all of your rights. Just to do that. I want. you know, go. I dare you to go. To fi try to find. Charts now. On forest fires. I, I, I don't know. But give it a shot. See what you get. Go to the fire. Go that far. This NIFC. See if they actually give you. I mean. I think they'll give you. Uh data that's hard to, like, it's like, uh, you know, they might give you a year or whatever, uh, but I, I don't know, I don't know. But slow, just like the temperatures of the average temperature of the, of, the, of the earth, they're phasing it out where they ain't even telling you what the, what it, what the actual temperatures are or were, you know. Now, in the last 25 years, if you Google each year individually, hey, what was the average temperature of the earth? Uh, in 2023 or in 2021, it always will tell you that you it's at it's so many degrees above or below or whatever the national 20th century average was. Of course, they don't tell you what that is. Of course, it's all made up, anyways. I mean, they're literally changing everything, people. Why they do that? Because they they want to be at, once they. Can change everything. You can't complain back, man. <laughs> how can I? How can anyone without this part? And and, and this is missing this, from here, 1983, down to here. That's misinformation now. Soon, when they start putting you in jail, you know, uh, Russia last year locked up maybe 450 or something like that, 550 somewhere around there. I don't know. I can't remember the exact number, but it was out there. Uh, they locked up. That many people for uh, speech, just for speech, for saying the wrong thing. Guess how many people last year in the UK got arrested for, for uh, you know, using their speech? Yeah, it was like 3,000. It was like three, it was like 2,700 or something. I can't, can't remember. It was some crazy multiple, you know, thousands. <laughs> but it was around 3,000 people or something like that. 2,000, I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, and it was all stupid stuff. Like one one lady uh, posted on Facebook because her 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 friend died or whatever someone died, so she posted his favorite song, and in that song it was a rap song or something like that, and it said the N word, but it didn't say N word. It said the actual word. Uh, they arrested her, put her in jail. This is happening in Canada, uh, and it's it's going to be starting here soon. If you don't believe me that this is all that Nazi stuff, you, you people are insane, man. You got uh, you got people uh, going across the world in colleges talking about kill the Jews, kill the Jews, kill the Jews. Then you got this guy from Ukraine. He goes to uh, Canada two years ago and gets a, 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 a trophy for being a great guy, and then they find out. Uh, right in the middle, right before he gets there, that he used to be a Nazi, like an actual Nazi during Nazi Germany, during uh, helping the regime. He was up high in the thing. Yeah, they still gave him his trophy. Went back to Ukraine. We fight. The Ukraine. They they stopped elections. They went on television and said we stopped elections like two years ago. Uh, but we fight for them, the Nazi country Ukraine. You know, uh, the Democrats have been calling the Republicans Nazis for a decade. And everyone knows that every every time the, the Democrats are really pushing on saying that the Republicans did something, usually it ends up that they're the ones who are doing it. <laughs> you know, they're the ones who are doing it. They're guilty of it. 
So I'm running out of time here, so whatever.